Hi there, it's Carol with Carol B. Crafts. Today we'll be making card number four in my Varied Vases online card class. Check out my website www.carolbcrafts.com to see what current classes I'm offering. Now this class centers around the Varied Vases bundle which is available in the annual catalog and it's a very nice little bundle. It comes with a stamp and two sheets of photopolymer stamps. Now I've had a lot of fun making these cards and I know that you will enjoy these stamps as well. If you don't have the card kit, don't worry, I'll give the dimensions as we go along. So we'll get our card kit out. Everything comes uh, pre-scored, cut and pre-scored for you. Inside your envelope will always be your goodies. Today we uh, just have a piece of 9 inch mint macaron nature's poem twine and I've taken the when you untwist it it kind of does like three I've just taken one of those away so you really only have three two of the larger strands and I did that so that I wouldn't have quite a as bulky um, a bow as if I if I used a full strength one so that's where I got that so we'll set that aside for now so we don't need that yet now this is the inside sentiment. So we have a piece of tranquil tide, four and a quarter by three and a half with the whisper white, four by three and a quarter. We'll be stamping on that. For the front image, we have we only need one. I give you two, two by four pieces of whisper white, and then a piece of tranquil tide that will go under that, which is two and one eighths by four, two and one eighths by four, then a piece of the Tranquil Textures DSP, and it is three by four and a half, so three by four and a half will go underneath the Tranquil Tide, and then that's gonna go on top of another piece of DSP, which is three and seven eighths by five and one eighths, three and seven eighths by five and one eighths. And all of that is going to go on top of another piece of Tranquil Tide, which is four and one eighths by five and three eighths. Four and one eighths by five and three eighths. So that's all going to go on top of our card base. So let's go ahead and get our stamp being done. Now you'll need three inks. You'll need Crumb Cake, Tranquil Tide, and Calypso Coral. You'll also need a stamp positioner. Um, I'm going to use the Stamparatus. So I have my Stamparatus. I've cleared away some of the things I don't need. Now we won't be using our punch today for this card, but of course if you buy the stamps you'll want to get the punch that coordinates with it. So with my Stamparatus, I always uh, have a couple things that I do to make it a little more uh, easier for me. I'm going to clean some of this ink off right there. I don't want to get that on my fingers. First thing that I do is I have to put something underneath to make it a little higher. So I'm using the gray mat from the uh, Big Shot embossing mats. It comes with a gray one, a blue one, and a plastic plate. I like to use this because of the thickness and also because it, it's rubber. It doesn't like to slide as much. You could use a piece of uh, chipboard or I've also used this before, the thin die adapter. Slide that underneath like this. I like the mat though because it's rubber and it doesn't slide as much. And then the other thing that I like to do is use a piece of clear uh, window sheet, half inch by four inches. I like to use that to use with my photopolymer because photopolymer, when you put your paper down, and you, then you put your stamp on it. When you pick up your stamp, have you ever had your, your stamp like pull your paper? Well, this way you don't have to worry about so much about that if you put your stamp on a piece of plastic. It also helps you position it as well. Now the stamps that we're going to use are, um, we have this larger, almost looks like a tree flower. Then we have our thank stamp because it's going to say thanks but if you wanted it to say something else you could. We'll be using this small leaf that just it's and it's not the outline it's the fill 
And then we'll also be using the larger solid, well, it's not the solid one, it's the one that has a design on it. It's a semi-solid. It has a design, as you can see there. And then on the inside we'll be using You Are Simply the Best. So let me get that. You Are Simply the Best. Where is it? Here. It's a longer one. That window sheet really comes in handy when you're using a long sentiment like that. We're going to use a flower, kind of daisy looking outline flower, and then we're going to use the fill image as well for the inside. So those are our stamps. And I'm just going to put some of these on the back of my, to keep them handy, but out of the way until I'm ready to use them. And these three I'm going to need. Now I'm going to put a, I'll just use crumb cake, I mean Sahara, Sahara sand because it's handy. So that just keeps my plastic level when I'm doing my inking up. So with this, now we know that we want to make room for thanks. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn my face the right way and put it on top of my plastic. And that makes it easy for me to move around. I want it in the center, somewhat in the center, maybe not exactly in the center. So it looks like this one it might be slightly to the left. I'm also going to want to have room for this. Let me move that so I can see exactly how much room I have. And I do want to have enough stem showing that I can put some leaves on each side. And then I do want to have room for my thanks stamp. So when I think I have all that room for all of that stuff, <laughs> I am going to, I, I think I might like to have this just a little bit taller, but I can't have it too tall. It will, um, that looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to remove these um, stamps because I don't need them right now. Leave that in place. So I'm going to pick that up. Might move these to the back too so that they're not. So once I have my stamp up, I'm going to put this back so it's a little more firm there and doesn't paper doesn't move. So I'm going to remove that plastic. That's important. If you don't remove that piece of plastic, you can always wipe it if you eat, make, you know, if you ink it up. But so this is going to be inked with Tranquil Tide. I don't know if I told you, did I say Tranquil Tide, Calypso Coral, and Crumb Cake are our colors. So here's our Tranquil Tide. I'm trying to avoid getting it on the plastic. And the great thing about this using a stamp positioner like this, you can see the paper is pulling. Probably need another, um, probably could use another one of these magnets down there. You can, the good thing is that you can stamp as many times as you need uh, to get a good image. Just dry that off with my something I took from my stamp and scrub. <laughs> Makes it a little easier. So now we're going to do um, the leaves and that will go up here. And let's see, so I'll put my magnet down here. Now I, I don't want this to stamp, I don't want this to stamp down below the base, so I'm going to put a little piece of um, sticky 
note here. I'm just going to let a little piece of the Tranquil Tide show so that and then I'm going to pick that stamp up. Now I forgot to use my and you can see how it's pulling up. That's okay. So Tranquil Tide for this. All right, so now we are ready to do the thanks. Let me clean off my stamp. So I think before we do the thanks, we're going to do the leaf. I'm, I guess I just kind of forgot about that. So we'll put one leaf here, and we just want to make sure that the leaf touches the, the stem, and it's not just hanging out there. We'll clean it off. And I'll use a little bit of a, fi a microfiber cloth here to dry off my... And then I'm going to put my leaf here on the other side. All right, now we can clean this off. Now we can do the thanks. I'm going to move my magnet up there. I'll make room for my thanks down here. Where's my little strip? <laughs> okay, here it is. This makes it so much easier to move these around and get them perfectly um, placed. Don't want it too low. There, that looks good. Remove my plastic strip. And that's going to be inked up with crumb cake. So um, now we're going to do the leaves, which is uh, Calypso Coral, the flower part. And I forgot to tell you, we need that stamp. We use a lot of stamps, and so it's easy to forget one. So the, we need the fill-in stamp for those. And it looks kind of like a big uh, bunch of popcorn. <laughs> Little X's. And again, my little plastic strip is going to come in handy lining these up. So I'm just going to put them on my plastic strip. Now you'll find that there's like four in a row, like three, and then a small one kind of like this. That's going to go to your left. And let me give myself a little more wiggle room there. I'm just pushing it with my nail it will stick to your fingers so it's best to push with your nails till you get it lined up to where you want it then when you have it where you want it just pick it up and it won't stick to your paper because you've got this piece of plastic between them we'll ink that up with some calypso coral Okay, we're done with our front and we're ready to move on to our inside. Now for the inside, we're going to do our long sentiment. And that's you are, you are simply the best. Let me get my plastic strip again. <laughs> All right, so you are simply the best and we want to make sure we leave room for a little flower up here kind of just above it. When you're happy with it, just pick it up. I think I might move this down a little bit so that it's there's more room for it there. Be sure not to move my paper though. That's going to be in um, crumb cake. Next is our little flower outline. We're going to put that there and we'll do that. Um, let's see, what color is that in? Tranquil Tide. So I have the little fill-in stamp on a piece of my clear window sheet and I'm just going to move this around here till I get it where I want it. 
So then when you have it where you want it, just pick it up, remove that plastic sheet, and ink up your with clips of coral. Okay, we're done with our stamping. So I've brought in all of uh, our card stock here so we can start building our card. So I'm going to fold this in half and use my bone folder for our card base. And this is going to be a portrait card. So we know that this is going to go on top of the Tranquil Tide. And it looks like there's a quarter of an inch at the top and the bottom. So we'll go ahead and get our snail and put this on. And if you watch my videos, you know I like to use like this little waxy strip to kind of help me along to position things. So a quarter at the top and the bottom. The spacing isn't as important as getting it level so that it's straight across and straight down. Same distance, top and bottom. And that's going to go on top of our piece of mint macaron DSP and it looks like we have not quite maybe like three-eighths of an inch more than more than a quarter less than a quarter more than an eighth there just kind of where you think it looks good now this one um, it looks like there's more room I'm not sure how or why. I think I have more space here, so I'll just have to adjust, as you will too. It's not going to be a big deal. Just want kind of even spacing top and bottom, and then a little from the right. So we'll put that on. And then this is going to go on top of here, this time a little more than a quarter from the edge and the top. You want more space here than on this side. That's basically the biggest thing you want to go for. And now this is going to go on top of our Tranquil Tide. And then this is going to go on top of our card base. For the inside sentiment, we're going to um, put this on top of our Tranquil Tide. And then inside our card base. Okay, the only thing we have left to do is the bow and we're going to make a little loop here. We're going to leave a tail about an inch long, maybe a little more. Bring this side over and then through where your thumb is and pull it. Then you can adjust it by pulling the tails and then pulling the loops, pulling the tails, pulling the loops, and then decide which way it lays better. I think it lays better this way, so I'm going to put my glue dots on the back here. I'm going to use two, one on top of the other and kind of scrunch it behind the knot so it doesn't show. Now those glue dots will stick to your fingers so if they stick to your fingers they'll stick to anything. <laughs> Had a phone call. <laughs> and then it's going to go just kind of right here um, at just below the top of the vase and then you'll get your scissors and you'll just trim it to where you like it. Um, I think I like it right about there.
and our card is finished. So this is card number four in the uh, Varied Vases online class. If you would like to take one of my classes, check out my website, www.carolbcrafts.com, under the Classes tab, and I'll try to keep that updated. And you can always email me at carolbcrafts at hotmail.com if you're interested in taking one of my classes. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye!